everyone, I'm Kaden. So today I'm going to do an unboxing of this grinder from Bodom. Yeah, I received this grinder from Taisa last week. So Taisa is a company that distributes the brand of uh, Bodom and also some glass like uh, Libe. So other than grinder, Bodom also have a uh, they have some coffee maker like a uh, French press so you can go to their website to check for more so before I start uh, I want to let you know that uh, this video this review uh, is not uh, paid by them so I will tell the truth of what it is this grinder for yeah so let's check the packaging so yeah this is the new model of the bottom bistro electric grinder uh, from visual we can see a little bit update from the bean hopper cover and the rest looks mm, similar and yeah oh here is english so it says this is a space saving grinder that holds up to 220 grams of coffee and there's 12 settings that allow you to grind from cross uh, for French press to fine espresso. So there is a programmable time function and also wide open funnel to prevent spilling of the bean, tightly fitting plastic lid to keep the ground from spilling, equipped with a friction clutch preventing damage to the grinder gear. Mm, okay. Mm, metal body makes the grinder more silent and uh, it said do not produce static electricity with the ground coffee so when I do review I will check on this few thing so yeah let's open and see what we have in the box oh this is the hopper And we have the grinder here. Yep, that's all. Okay, so we have a whole new bean hopper which yeah, which have all the grinding guide uh, on the cover. I think this is good, like it gives you a reference and you don't need to try and play around when you have this grinder. So, this grinder is really solid. The body is made out of aluminium and it's not too heavy. Let's see how much of the weight. Yeah, it's only 1.5 to 1.6 kilogram of this. With the glass container, which they say anti-static. Yeah, this is a really solid glass from bottom with a rubber handle and this cover is a little bit soft so it can it's very nice to fit on this uh, container to prevent uh, coffee spill out yeah so from the top you can see this is the conical burr and it's quite easy to remove and yeah it's held by a very solid plastic here and you can change the burr easily when you feel it's not sharp anymore so there's a on off switch timer setting and the start stop grinding button here as the previous version so come to the hopper so yeah this is a soft plastic which is a really nice build 
and we can have all this uh, grinding guide here is tell you like uh, uh, the setting of the grind size suitable for what kind of brewing method and how many seconds for roughly how many grams of coffee bean you need to grind yeah so you can see the inside of the burp this kind of design is really easy to clean easy to assess and easy to clean and the way you put this back is very simple you don't need to do anything you just put this in take the hopper start from the coarser area and twist that's it so simple because they are designed for the home so let's put in the electric and see how this grinder sounds is this very noisy so now let's put like a five second yeah for me uh, it's, it's still considered a bit noisy for this grinder yeah but uh wait after one week I use, I will make a review and I will grind with bean and I will show you the pour over and let's see how this uh, grinder perform and I will continue to use this grinder for one month then I will show you some comparison with other grinder uh, how this grinder is performing so yeah, please subscribe my channel and like my video so I will see you in the next video, thank you